lies in the temperate grasslands, the prairies and the veld. The prairies and the veld are the temperate grasslands. The temperate grasslands extend between 30 degrees and 50 degree latitudes in both the hemispheres, mainly in the interiors of the continents. Study at a glance. Temperate grasslands, the prairies, the veld. Temperate grasslands. The temperate grasslands are known by different names in different continents. They include the steppes on Eastern Europe and Southern Asia, the prairies of North America, the pampas of Argentina, the downs of Australia, the belt of South Africa. The temperate region is the region which lies in the interior of the continents and receives low rainfall. The prairies. The temperate grasslands of North America are called prairies. For the most part, prairies are treeless, but near the low-lying plains, flanking river valleys, woodlands can be found. They extend from rocky mountains in the west to the Great Lakes and Appalachian Highlands in the east. The prairies cover an area of Manitoba, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Ontario provinces of Canada and North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Low and Wisconsin states of USA. The grasslands of prairies were the home of American Indians, more popularly known as Blackfoot Indians. Geographical Advantages of the Prairies the rolling plains are well-drained and suitable for large-scale mechanized farming. Chinook is a hot wind that blows in winter and therefore raises the temperature in a short time. This increase in temperature results in the melting of snow, making pasture land available for grazing of animals. The melting of snow helps in providing moisture to the soil. The dark soil is full of humus and organic matter. Climatic conditions of prairies. The climate of the prairies is of extreme type. Winters are severe with temperature going down to minus 21 degrees Celsius with snowfall. Summers are warm with temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Rainfall also occurs but the annual rainfall is less than 40 centimeters and it is ideal for the growth of grass. Occupations of the people in the prairies There are two major occupations of the people in the prairies that is cattle rearing and farming. The prairies were the grazing grounds of large herds of bison, antelopes and deer. The cattle are allowed to graze freely in the open plains under the supervision of the cowboys. The cowboys are well-built, strong and hard-working men who remain on the horseback for the whole day. Cattle live in large cattle farms called ranches. Agriculture in the prairies Wheat farming is the main agricultural activity on the prairie lands. Prairies are known as the granaries of the world due to huge surplus of wheat production. Prairies are also called the wheat basket of the world because prairies are famous for the cultivation of wheat. All farming operations are highly mechanized as labor is very expensive in the prairies. Wheat is harvested with combined harvesters and threshers. Farmers practice mixed farming and also crop rotation is practiced. Main food crop in the prairies is wheat, barley, oats, maize, flax and potatoes are the other crops grown. Features of towns in prairies Major towns of the prairies are connected with big railway junctions. These towns serve as the centers for collecting and storing agricultural produce. The Welt. 
The weld a temperate grassland is found in the southern parts of Africa. Welds are rolling plateaus with varying heights ranging from 600 meters to 1100 meters. The welt occupies the eastern part of Cape Colony, entire Orange Free State and most part of the Transvaal. The Weltlands are in fact sandwiched between Drakensberg Mountain on the southeast and Kalahari Desert on the northwest. Scattered trees occur only on elevations and along the coast of streams. Climatic conditions and vegetation in the Welt they enjoy mild climate. The summers are warm and wet, while the winters are cool and dry. Often the night temperature falls to freezing level. Major share of the rainfall occurs during the summer seasons, which decreases from south to north and also from east to west. Because of the semi-arid climatic conditions, there are limited forests in South Africa. The major part of the welt, particularly the high welt, is covered with grasses. These are known by the name of temperate grasslands. This is an area of broad, level stretch of both tall and short grasses and bushes. Main crops in the welt. Various crops like maize, fruits, tobacco are grown here in plenty. Maize is the chief cash crop and large quantity of maize is exported. So, the area is known as Maize Triangle. Occupation of the people in the Welt Sheep rearing is the most important occupation of the people in the Welt. The cattle also graze in large numbers. The Angora goats and Merino sheep of this region are known for their fine quality of wool. The cattlemen now supply most of the local needs of milk, mutton and wool. In certain parts of the world, farming is also practiced. Farming is affected by the low amount of rainfall and occasional droughts. Summary The prairies and the world are temperate grasslands. The prairies are found in the interior parts of USA and Canada in North America. The climate of prairies is of extreme type with no other vegetation except short grass. The prairie soil is fertile, so farming is the main occupation. There are two major occupations of the people in the prairies, that is cattle rearing and farming. Wheat farming is the main agricultural activity on the prairie land. Major towns of the prairies are connected with big railway junctions. The wealth is found in South Africa. The vegetation in the belt comprises of tall trees, short grasses and bushes. The main crops grown in the belt are maize, fruits and tobacco. Sheep rearing is the most important occupation of the people on the belt.